So it started with seeing videos because obviously, you know, videos travel easily in the art world. And you can, particularly in group shows, you see a lot of videos. Um, and that was the first thing we saw. And but then more and more we also started to see installation because, you know, the more we saw, the more we saw the complexity of the work. And we just felt there is an urgency to bring the things together. One of the things which is exciting is that this exhibition triggers a lot of interest and so it's not only Stockholm and London, that's only the beginning, it's uh, you know, going to become a touring show and we've got interest from many other venues and it will uh, be an exhibition on the move. It's, for me it's unbelievably exciting to be able to collaborate with the Serpentine Gallery, one of the most visible art institutions in the world right now. The breakthrough piece is this strange dance in the subway of Stockholm, which is anarchic and, and defiant, and, and, and but also somehow yeah, full of energy. And her practice is so complex because, as we can see here in the exhibition, it includes paintings. There is this almost Rothko chapel-like room in the middle of her extraordinary poster, white poster paintings. There is uh, her installations. We are here in one of her installations. There are her videos. Um, her more performative work, uh, all kinds of aspects. It's always got to do with space because she actually um, was trained as an architect and as an urbanist. She's been incredibly inventive about how she's used our space in a way that really hasn't, to my knowledge, in the last 20 years, there's been nobody who's played with it in the same way. So it's very, very, very sophisticated. But the thing about Clara that I find um, both fascinating and unnerving in equal measure is that she has an ability to, to make transparent thoughts and feelings that are hidden and dark. I think that they're the sensibilities that exist within all of us. That, that combination of violence and pleasure, for example, um, that exists in many of her works, that she really pushes and makes transparent. For us, she's one of the great artists of the 21st century and we are so excited to celebrate her work here.